A man came to the Prophet والسلام, in Medina. His name was Tamim Dari. He was Christian, he converted to Islam, became a Muslim. And he communicated to the Prophet والسلام, some information about an event which took place. When we study the event critically, we come to the conclusion this could not have been an actual event, it had to be a vision. He said, he spoke about his, his experience to the Prophet Hadith is in Sahih Muslim and the Prophet said to the people, sit down, sit down in the masjid. I have something to say to you. Tamim Udari came to me and told me something about Dajjal which confirms what I've been saying to you. And now we have the event from the lips of the Prophet that Tamim Udari and some of his companions, about 30, 40 of them, went on a ship. And a storm came and drove them on the seas for a whole month. And after one month of travel, they came to an island. And when they got on shore, they were confronted by a very hairy beast. So much hair, now you're going to have to excuse me for this one, eh? So much hair, you couldn't tell which side was head and which side was tail. Like you have problems now in lower Manhattan to tell who is a man and who is a woman. And then the beast spoke and said, I am Jassasa, Wala Tajassasu, Suratul Hujurat, a spy. And said, There's someone waiting to see you, pointing to a monastery which is lying in ruins. So, number one, an island which is about one month's distance from the Arab world. Number two, an island with expertise in spying, in espionage, James Bond kind of stuff. Number three, an island in which religion will eventually crumble, collapse, lying in ruins and most of the people will become atheists. Those of you who came down from London on that flight, please keep quiet. So they, they hurried to the monastery which was lying in ruins and there they came across a man powerfully built, in chains, in chains, with his hands chained to his neck and his feet chained. If uh, a burglar enters into your home and you catch hold of him, that's the best way to tie him up. with his hands chained to his neck and his feet chained. You okay when you have him tied up like that? So, an island. One month. Expertise in spying. Collapse of religion. And so eventually an island of only atheists.
and there was Dajjal in chains and he said I am Dajjal and he began to question them has the Arab prophet Arab prophet come as yet to Medina the Arab prophet they said yes and he asked a number of other questions and I want you to study those questions carefully now do the work that I don't have the time to do anymore he asked is there any water left in the sea of Galilee and they said yes and we will I think on Monday or Tuesday return to the Sea of Galilee and then he announced that I am Dajjal and when I am released so up to this moment he is not yet released into the world this is Medina this is the beginning of the period of Medina when I am released I will enter every town and every city which is why we chose Barak Paw because this is a village when I am released I'll enter every town and every city but i will not be allowed to enter Mecca and Medina because the angels will grant me this is a profoundly important hadith Prophet Muhammad went on to say that when Dajjal is released he'll live on earth for 40 days one day like a year one day like a month one day like a week and all his days meaning all the rest of his days like your days and in the Bible the mark of Dajjal is 666 meaning 600 and then 60 and then 6 and our prophet says a day like a year that's the 600 a day like a month that's the 60 a day like a week that's the 6 it's the same thing using different languages <laughs> 